Hey guys and welcome back to another tech review. Today I'm reviewing a budget headset from a brand that I haven't reviewed before. It arrived well presented in this box. And although I'm not going to talk about all the features and specifications in this review, it is worth noting that it has a large 50mm drivers. It has an average frequency range, a surprisingly short 1.5m cable, and although the weight is quoted at 320 grams, when I weighed them on an accurate scale, they weighed it at 298 grams. Other things to note are that it had a rotary mic, which is good in some ways and bad in other, as you'll see in later. And an inline controller. And although most people will expect to see that on all gaming headset cables, it's not always the case. So now that all the technical details are out of the way, let's take a look at the headset. And I certainly wasn't disappointed with the quality, as it was well made. Looks stylish despite the dark and somewhat plain look. Looking at it head on, it's full sized and looks different to most of the gaming headsets that I've come across. Looking at it from the side, the design couldn't really be much plainer, despite it having a yellow green on some regions. Looking at it from the top, again it looks plain, doesn't have a logo on the upper headband support. But it did have a flexible mic that could be moved up and down and tucked away discreetly when not in use. But not flexible enough to be pushed closer towards the mouth, picking up too much background noise. What it did have going for it though, was that it had more than enough thick padding on the ear cups and plenty of padding on the headband, making them more comfy on the head. Other things that I liked was that it could be adjusted in length and locked in place. But sadly, the headset units couldn't move left, right, up or down. But it did have a good amount of interesting and eye-catching detailing on the side, which really did make them stand out. Now, the most important aspect of any headset is the audio quality. So let's hear what that sounds like. The sound quality was generally excellent, more than enough bass that was long lasting and sounded amazing with combat and racing games, delivering a huge amount of sound output even at 70% volume. Lows, mids and highs in general were on point, although the lows did choke the highs at times, which can be expected with budget gaming headset. More importantly though, it did a good job of keeping sound anomalies to a bare minimum. And the surround sound was also impressive. Moving on to the noise cancelling. Well, it was certainly very impressive, possibly due to the PU leather on the ear cups and how it pressed inwards toward the ears a fair bit, but not too much to make it uncomfortable. And it didn't overheat my ears too much either. But that meant in terms of noise cancelling was that it only needed to be at like 40% to cancel out ambient noises, such as like the TV, something that I very rarely see at this price point. And finally, 
the mic performed very well at this price point. Other things to note are that it had a thin black cable with a small inline controller. I wasn't too keen on either as the cable was too thin and the controller was too small. And although you can adjust the volume very easily and mute the mic, you can't adjust the game audio and chat independently, which will bother some users for sure. The cable ended with a 3 stripe 3.5mm cable which allows you to stick it into a PS4 controller and there was also a 1 in 2 splitter included for using it with Macs, laptops and PCs which was a useful addition. You also get an user manual for less experienced users and that essentially tells you how to connect the headset to various consoles and devices. And although there was no mention of a warranty a closer examination of the seller description page does mention a 12 month warranty, which is actually very good. So in summary, it generally performed very well overall, especially in the quality, audio and mic department. And despite it scoring less than 8 out of 10 in three departments, it still did enough in the end to get a thumbs up. Verdict is 8.25 out of 10. As always, if you found the review was helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time guys.